Hey guys, Greg C96 here. Um, today obviously doing something a little bit, no, not a gaming video. It's not my travel vlog. I'm just here talking to you guys. Uh, I'm sorry if you're hearing background noise. Windows open because I moved this stuff into my room, and it gets super hot in here if I don't have any airflow. So I got airflow window to window. It's all good for me. Ah, so today's video is, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about, I keep making these I'm back videos, and then obviously life happens and I'm no longer back. <laughs> um, I keep falling off schedule. So obviously I'm, I try to keep a schedule. Um, life tends to get in the way. And I just kind of want to talk a little bit about, you know, why it seems like I'm always like, yeah, I'm back and I'm going to try to stick to schedule. And then I fall off within like a week or less. Um, so for those of you who know me, on I'm sure even those of you who don't know me who have just watched my videos, you've heard me talk about in the past uh, the fact that I am a full-time student. I am an engineering student. Uh, I go to Johnson & Wales in Providence, study robotics engineering, full-time student, and I live in Worcester, Massachusetts. Um, the reason I live here is because it's cheaper for me to commute to Providence, do 500 miles of driving a week for four years than it is for me to live on campus for one year. So if that doesn't say anything about, you know, um, the cost of admission down there, uh, we'll just leave it there. But yeah, so I commute 500 miles or 400-ish miles a week just for school. Um, I work in Marlboro, Massachusetts, which is roughly about, oh, another 10 or so miles each way. So between work and school, I drive close to 500 miles a week or more, depending on the week, obviously. So I spend roughly 13 to 14 hours every week just driving. Then in Providence, of course, I have four hours of classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I have six hours of classes on Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, those Tuesday and Thursdays, I'm on the road at 5.30 a.m. I get up back home close to you about usually like 12.30, somewhere between like 12.30 and 1 a.m. or 1 p.m. And then typically on Tuesdays and Thursday afternoons, I work from 3 to 9. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, I pretty much have no time at all. Uh, Monday, Wednesdays, I don't work. My classes are from 11 to 5.30. means I get home close to 7. Um, typically leave around 9.30. So those days I spend most of my morning doing homework because it's my only free time, really. And I try to sleep in when I can. Weekends, you know, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays are my weekend because I don't have classes those days. I work those days. Um, I've just been super busy lately with the start of the school year. I've been trying to work as many hours as possible because, as I've discussed previously, I got a new vehicle because I was just starting to have way too many problems uh, with the old vehicle, and it was just no longer safe for me to be doing, you know, five to 600 miles a week in that vehicle. So that was what's going on there. So I do have good news to bring to you, though, other than, yeah, this is why I'm falling off the schedule. As you can see, this whole background looks a little bit uh, different than normal, because normally I'm not in here. Normally I'm out there, because normally that's where my office was previously. But the problem with that is it's a totally open office, um, no doors, no nothing on the office itself, so... Being my loud self, being out there, and having the stairway directly next to me, about five feet to the right, big open stairway goes, you know, ceiling is here and stairs are doing this, so it's getting bigger and making my voice echo and carry through. Yeah, I can, someone's down by the lake there, 500 miles, uh, 500 feet, no, at least probably about a thousand feet away, and I can hear their music loud and clear through trees <laughs> their music's a bit loud anywho so yeah so my voice echoed um pretty much disrupted the entire house and that becomes a problem when you realize the only time i get to record now is like eight at night nine at night because that's the only time i'm actually free to do any recording 
and that meant, well, I couldn't really record because my dad goes to bed at roughly 6 o'clock at night because he goes, or 6, 7 o'clock at night because his workday starts at 3 in the morning. So I couldn't continue to record out there late because of the fact that, you know, I could not just disrupt the rest of my family, plus, you know, wake up my sister. Well, now I'm in here. I have a door. I have to do just a little bit of work to finish adding some soundproofing to the door so it's not quite as loud, because um, my voice still carries a little bit out through there, but it's not near as bad as with no door, and it'll be even better when we, when I add that stuff to that door. Uh, so yeah, basically, um, I have obviously had reasons that I'm not able to record, but what I have done now, and by moving the setup in here as opposed to being out there, is I have eliminated the biggest reason that I was not able to record. Um, so now it's basically going to be I record, I edit, I let it render, I go to bed. Before I get going the next day, I set it to upload. So I'm not going to say... Uh, but yeah, no, uh, drop something. But no, I'm not going to say that... You know, I'm going to be able to get back to the five videos a week schedule that I had, you know, once done, once tried doing, because life has simply gotten too busy. I work f four jobs now by my count, uh, 10 hours a week down in Providence around my school schedule, which are going to make my days even longer. Um, anywhere from 20 to 30 hours a week at my new job, uh, which I have not officially disclosed yet for reasons and probably will not disclose, but a lot better than my previous job. There's a reason I left. Uh, two to three hours a week at uh, my teaching job where I teach, you know, C programming, 3D printing, things like that. And it's looking like I will actually be getting a fourth job, which will tie me up like 10 to 12 weekends a year. But it is something I absolutely love doing. So I'm definitely, definitely not complaining. But anyways, yeah, so that's kind of what's going on with, you know, all of this stuff. But I just figured it would be nice if I made, like, a little video explaining why I keep having these, you know, hey, I'm back, and then I'm gone for, like, another month or whatever. You know, the summer this year was crazy for me because I was working insane hours. I got injured early in the summer, which uh, was my shoulder and my back that I hurt. So I was pretty much not able to do anything for a good long while. Um, yeah, that's kind of just what has happened lately. And then I went on vacation for a week, and I was planning on doing stuff while on vacation because I figured, hey, I'm on vacation. I have time to myself. But I was getting like a 5 megabit connection in the hotel. I was not able to do anything with that connection. So yeah. Um, but yes, so this video is a... I now have the means to actually be able to record videos again. So, expect them. I'm going to try to do... You know what? No. I'm, I'm going to definitely try to get five videos every week. I don't know if I can keep with five videos every week, but I'm certainly sure as hell going to try. But yeah, so I think that is a good place to end it for today. We're almost at nine minutes here, so like the video if you liked it, dislike it. If you didn't like it, leave a comment down below telling me anything you specifically want to see me do in the future, or if you want to, you know, tell me how horrible I am for not being able to keep a schedule. Uh, check out the rest of the guys at Big Box Gamers over at youtube.com slash bigboxgamers. Check me out on the web at gregc96.com. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me grow, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!